it was suggested to me that I make a Pac-Man bracelet um, with LED lights by um, a certain Betsy Weber in town and I thought well that's a pretty easy design and I also um, have been trying to decide how I want to start integrating the conductive thread into um, a more solid bracelet. My past two have had the LED lights kind of floating in between two heavy, strong beaded structures um, and I'm not as happy with that. I'm concerned that the resistance, that the conductive thread isn't getting enough resistance to be able to um, pulse the electricity through the conductive thread as well. So this piece is brand new. Um, I'm going to be actually threading the conductive thread through the little teeny tiny seed beads um, in this bracelet. And these are Delicas. They actually have a larger hole than most within your normal seed bead. Um, they're, they're more like little tubes than round beads with where it, a lot of beads you'll get um, varying hole sizes and stuff where they're delicas um, you get a smoothness to them because they fit together perfectly. So this is the bracelet that I've been working on um, and it's front and back and I've already kind of doing, done a tempor temporary stitch with the snaps on both sides so it can come around and snap together. Like so. So that's going to be the finished bracelet. Um, and I'm going to put a battery pack behind this guy um, so it won't show through because these two beads are actually a little sheer. So, um, so the battery is going to be slide into here and the conductive thread is going to come around and it's actually the on off switch is going to be the snaps. I did some research. Um, I didn't want this bracelet to be really bulky. Uh, I, Betsy claims she wants to get it at the end. Um, and I, I just, I want it to be very functional and um, for somebody to be able to wear it. So that's the bracelet form. Um, and right now I'm just set up. I like to experiment first um, to make sure that things are working before I get them in the beads because once you get the thread in the beads it's really hard to get it all out. Um, so I wanted to make sure the snaps that I had were conductive and I've got my uh, negative here and my positive attached to my snap here um, just loosely and here's my battery going to kind of lay it on top in between the two and then tap this on the top and we're getting the LED lights. Um, this bracelet is not going to blink like I said I wa didn't want it to be extra bulky um, with sparkle and an on off switch and all that on it. Um, maybe I'll g integrate sparkle into the next one after I see how big it is with the added battery. Um, but I like to be streamlined, so, uh, that is the beginning of my mission today, is to get white LEDs into the little dots in between the ghosts on, uh, the Pac-Man bracelet.